we have come many to the part anywhere the author yet he mentioned wal istita'atu ma'al fi'li wa hiya haqiqatul qudrati allati yakunu biha al fi'lu wa yaqa'u hadha al ismu 'ala salamati al asbab wal alati wal jawari so before we uh, speak any about this part uh, let us any mention any a few things what we have uh, spoken last week uh, we were speaking any about uh, the meaning of al kasb uh, in aqida we have any this uh, this particular terminology where our scholars any mention any kasb so basically what we mention any is that the actions any of human beings are a creation of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so we are unable any to create our own action so when an action any happens it is the creation of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and Allah bless us any with rewards any for that action or punishments any based any on that action and the fact that that actions any reflect any on our intention and the choices any that we make so last week any I was mentioning any that uh, human beings human beings uh, are given by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the ability to make choices so we are not uh, creations any of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that are forced but we are given any choices and it is based any on the choices any that we make allah bless us any with rewards and punishment but when it comes any to the actions any uh, uh, the actions any of human beings so we say this is the creation any of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so maybe any we go through any one more time uh, what when we covered uh, last week last week any we were mentioning in this part where the author any mentioned wallahu ta'ala khaliqun li af'ali al-ibadi kulliha that Allah yani, is the creator of the actions yani, of human beings, yani, all of it. Uh, this is the emphasis yani, from the author. Min al-kufri wal-imani wa ta'ati wal-isyan. So these are the examples, the actions yani, when it comes yani, to disbelief. Uh, a person yani, disbelief in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala or a person believe in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Acts yani, of obedience, acts of disobedience. All of it yani, are creations yani, of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And all of it yani, happens yani, based on the will of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This is what the author mentioned after that. He said, "Wa hiya kulluha bi iradatihi." All of this any happens any by the will, the will any of Allah wa mashiatihi, wa hikamihi, wa qadiyatihi, wa hukmihi, wa wa qadiyatihi. Any his his ruling and his decree, uh, and his, uh, uh, yani his qada uh, and qadar, the decree of Allah subhanahu wa taala, and the things any that Allah has ordained or the order ordainment any of Allah subhanahu wa taala. So this is what any we mentioned that all any of the actions, whether it is good actions or bad actions, all of it are equations any of Allah subhanahu wa taala. So basically, we as Muslims, we believe any that everything, everything that comes any to existence, it is a creation any of Allah subhanahu wa taala. Then any the author any mentioned walil ibadi afalun ikhtiyariya, that human beings any have actions any that are based any on the choices any that he makes. And I mentioned in the last week any that the actions of human beings are divided into two parts. We have actions that are not based any on choices, and we have actions any that are based any on choices. So actions any that are not not based on choices. And for example, the beating of our hearts, the beating any of our hearts, uh, is an example, is an example that this is not any based any on our choice because any when we are sleeping our hearts any still beats, so it beats any not any by our by our choice but allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the creator yani of this uh, action yani of the movement yani of our hearts but when it comes any to other actions like uh, walking and sitting in eating and drinking now this is based any on our choices uh, this is what any daughter any mentioned of all any ikhtiyariya that human beings any will be blessed any with rewards any if he does acts any of obedience and likewise any if he does any acts any of non-obedience he will be punished any by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So here any what the author any is trying any to say is, is that despite any our actions any our creations any of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala but we will be rewarded or punished based any on the actions any that we have any the choices any to make. So this is the difference any between the Ahlu Sunnah and Wal Jama'ah and Jabriya because any Jabriya they believe that human beings got no choice that human beings any are forced any by Allah. But Ahlu Sunnah and Wal Jamaa Al Ashair Al Maturidiyah and he mentioned that human beings and are given the ability to make choices, and that the actions and are a reflection and of the choices and that human beings and make, 
and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless any human beings any with those, those rewards by the choices any that human beings any make. And then lastly, any we spoke about Al-Hasan wal-Qabih. Any the author mentioned Al-Hasan minha bi illah. That good things any are based any on what Allah is pleased with. Meaning, something any that is good is what Allah sees it as good. And what is bad is what Allah yani mentioned it as bad. So good and bad, any it goes back any to the definition by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, not any by the human intellect. And this is any the difference any between the Ahlul Sunnah and the Mu'tazila. Because any the Mu'tazila, they believe any that goodness any is something that human, human et- intellect perceive any as something that is good. Whereas bad things are what is perceived by the human intellect as something and that is bad. That is any the viewpoint of the Mu'tazila, of course, and it is falsehood. But the reality any is that what is good is what is mentioned by Allah and as good. And what is bad is what is mentioned any by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as, as bad. So for example, any having faith in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is good. This belief in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is this belief in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is bad. Although any human beings any they differ. There are people any who does not believe in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and they thought any that they are doing any something that is that is good any based any on their intellect or based any on their understanding. But here any we mention any good any and bad any comes any from Allah. Good and, and bad any is something that has been laid out any by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala pertaining to what is good and what is what is bad. And then any he mentioned wal istita'a. Uh, al istita'a yani basically the ability. Uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless human beings any with the ability. For example, before we do a particular action, any for example, any we ask any the question. Now, <coughs> now any we are sitting down. Now any we are sitting down. If I ask any the question. Do we have any the ability to to walk? Now any we are sitting down. We have do we have the ability any to walk? So the answer any is yes. Any we have any the ability any to walk. When we look at our physical any situation, that we are we we find any ourselves uh, having the legs any to walk, and we find any ourselves any having any the means that we know that this is within any our capacity that we are able any to walk. That me, for example, I'm able any to stand. So this is called al istitaa, al istitaa qabl al fi'li, al istitaa qabl al fi'li. And before I perform in that particular action, Allah subhanahu wa taala bless me any with this ability that I'm able any to perform in that particular action. Meaning that particular action is within my capacity. Like I'm able any to eat and drink now, for example. I'm able any to drink. I'm able any to walk. I'm able any to. I'm able to stand. I'm able to talk. I'm able any to think. So this is the ability any that Allah any bless, bless any us us with. So there is ability before any we perform a particular action, and the ability when performing any that particular action. So again any this is any about the definition any of kasab, because when we speak any about kasab, we are speaking any about the action any when we are performing it, the action and the ability when we are performing it. So wal istitaatu ma al fi'li. Well, istitaatu ma'al fi'li. So now Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us any with this ability. That we are able any to walk, that we are able any to, that we are able any to run. So this ability is something that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created in us. That Allah created any in us. But it is not this this ability, it, this ability any is not any the thing that gives effect to, the, to our action. But it is a means to our action. It is a means any to our action. So, for example, any Allah gave me the ability any to walk. Now I'm not walking. So when any I walk, when any I walk, the 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 ability any to walk, the ability any to walk is something that Allah bless me with. But the action any of walking is a creation of Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. The action any of walking any is a creation any of Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. So the meaning any of kas, which I mentioned any many a times. It is any the linkage any between the ability any to walk and the action any of walking. This linkage, this re- relation between the ability any to walk, the ability any to walk, and the action any of walking any itself. This this relation any what we meant any by al kasr. So here any we have any to understand that it is not any our ability. It is not our ability that gives effect any to our action. But the one any that gives effect any to our action any is a creation any of Allah subhanahu wa taala. Allah subhanahu wa taala create create any our action any of walking. 
But at the same time, any Allah, any gave us any the ability that we are able that within our capacity any to walk. So this is what any the author any is is saying. Any the author is saying while istitaatu ma al fi'li. What is the meaning of istitaatu ma al fi'li? So there are two things here. Number one, the ability to perform any action, and the action in itself. So we mentioned yani, that Allah gave us yani, the ability to perform an action, and upon yani, we perform yani, that particular action, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created the action. So Allah yani, make yani, this ability that He gave us as a means yani, for that action. But in reality, the action is created yani, by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala upon yani, our intending yani, to perform that particular action. So this is why, where he mentioned wahia haqiqatul qudratil lati yakunu bihal fi'lu. So the 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 reality any yani, of any yani, the the power that enable a particular action any yani, to 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 happen it is any yani, the creation any yani, of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It is it is any yani, the creation any yani, of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and Allah make any yani, our ability the istita'a as an asbab for that particular for that particular action. وَيَقَعُوا هَذَا الْإِسْمُ عَلَى سَلَامَةِ الْأَسْبَابِ وَالْآلَاتِ وَالْجَوَارِهِ Then here yani, the author yani, mentioned yani, that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave us yani, uh, this ability yani, by the means of having salamat al-asbab, al-alat. Yeah, for example, earlier I gave the example yani, of walking. So walking, yani, what, what, do you, what do human beings yani, need yani, for him yani, to perform the action of walking? So human beings yani, need yani, of two legs. That the two legs any must not any be paralyzed. The two legs any that must that must any function any healthy. That uh, human beings any are able any to are able any to walk. So this situation uh, and this any health any is given by Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. That Allah bless any human beings. Likewise, Allah gave us any the ability to see. Allah gave us any the ability any for us any to hear. That we are able any to hear. The action any of hearing any is a creation any of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But our ears any are asbab. That we are able any to hear yeah, the noises any around us. Our eyes any is an asbab. That we are able any to see any the things any around us. Uh, our tongue any is a, is, a, is a means that we are able any to speak. But here Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the one any who created any everything. Uh, the, our sight any is a creation any of Allah. Our sense any of hearing is a creation any of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So our ears any is just any a means. Our eyes and is just any a means. Our tongue and is just any a means. But in reality, Allah yani, is the one yani, who created any our sense any of sight, our sense any of hearing, uh, our, our our ability any to walk, our ability any to run. This is a creation any of of Allah subhanahu wa taala, and likewise any the action any itself. And Allah bless us any with this capacity, which He made it any as a means for the actions any to to come. And then any, he mentioned any the wisdom any behind it. He said, was sehatu taklif. Yani Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless any human beings any with taklif. Yani bless any human beings any with the ability to think, the ability to see, the ability to seek knowledge, the, the, the ability uh, yani to, to speak, the ability yani to hear. So all these things are given any by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and this any becomes the conditions any of taklif. The conditions any of, the conditions any of the cliff. So in fact, any for example, any we say that if a person any reaches any puberty, and he has any the senses that he is able any to seek knowledge, and he is able any to ponder upon the greatness of Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala, he is any a mukallaf, and the da'wah of Islam any has reached him. So now any only human beings any is considered to be a mukallaf that is tested any by Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. But if Allah any created any a person, for example. Uh, blind and unable yani, to hear and unable yani, to speak, then this particular particular person yani, is not any yani, amongst any yani, the mukallaf. So our senses any yani, are the asbab. Our senses any yani, are the asbab. But the action any yani, of us learning, the ability any yani, of us any yani, able to see and and hear and all these things, all these any yani, are the creations any yani, of Allah subhanahu wa taala. So our senses any yani, are the means any yani, that we are able any yani, to. That we are able any to seek any knowledge, or we are able any to see, and so on and so forth. So this is where the author mentioned was sehatu taklifi ta'atamidu hadhil istitaa. So when we speak any about the uh, validity any of taklif, it goes back any to these conditions that human beings any must have any the proper any senses, 
in order any for us any to say that now any he is accountable any for the actions that he is that any he is doing so i hope any it is clear any inshallah uh the author any is basically speaking any about the issue any of kasab ah uh, the issue any of kasab and this is any the same thing any that we mentioned uh when we are speaking any in uh, aqida uh, sanusiya ah uh, last time when we in sanusiya So we mentioned any about the difference any between the creation of Allah Subhanahu wa ta'ala and the kasbul insan. Ah uh, the creation uh, Allah any created any our actions but that those actions any are held any accountable for us. Hal accountable any for us any because any it is a result any of our of our intention and the choices any that we that we make and Allah gave us any the ability any to make those choices and Allah gave gave us any the ability by our body parts and by 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 our health by our sense any of hearing by our sense any of sight all these abilities any given any by Allah but they are not the ones any that gives any the effect they are the means they are the asbab sihhatu taklif yes any we become any mukallaf any by this conditions but Allah any is a creator any of is a creator any of our actions and Allah any is a creator any of our understanding of our sight of our hearing and so on and and so forth And then the author mentioned, "Wala wala yukallafu al-abdu lima laysa fi wus'ihi." That human beings, any a servant, any human beings, any will not be burdened by Allah Subhanahu wa Taala with something that is not within his capacity. So when we look at human beings, any for example, uh, Allah yani gave any human beings certain yani abilities. Uh, we are able yani to perform any prayers. We are able yani uh, to fast. We are able any to to travel any for Hajj. We are able any to pay any the zakah. That we are able any to take any wudu. All this any is within any our capacity. We do not have the ability any to fly any, for example. We do not have any the ability uh, to run any faster uh, than a cheetah. We do not have uh, what you call it any the ability to do any certain things. Uh, the ability any to do any certain. Uh, certain things and we have any shortcomings and and so on and so forth so the sharia when comes to the commandments any of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala it is by the fadl of allah by the mercy of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that he uh, legislated any for us the actions that are within any our capacity and this is any from the favors any of the favors any of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala this is what allah mentioned in the quran la yukallifullahu nafsan illa wus'aha Allah any will not any burden any particular soul except any by which any that is able any to that is able any to perform. So Allah gave us any this capacity, gave us any this ability, and then Allah sent the revelation and the commandments and all of this any is within any our is within any our capacity. So He is any the one any who created any our actions, and we all those actions are, are held any accountable any for us because any we are the ones any who are. Making any dose, any charges, any whether to perform any or not, any to perform. So all this any relation any is what any we speak any about the meaning any of kasbul uh, insan, the actions of human beings and the creation any of Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala any of those actions. And then and he goes on any to give more examples and he said, "Wama yujadu min al alami fil madhub." Now and he speaks any about. The pain, for example, any if you beat any someone, the that person any feels any the pain. That first person any feel feels any the pain. This is a creation any of Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. So now any when we say the action any of beating, the action any of beating any is makhluk, is a creation any of Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. Likewise, any the effect any of that action, the effect any of that action any is also a creation any of a creation any of Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. So whether we are speaking any about the action itself, or the effect any of the, or the effect any of that action, all of it any are a creation of Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. Then he gave any the second any example, where he mentioned while in kisaru fi zujaj, aqibak kasri insan. Yani, if a person any for example throws any a ball at the window, ah, at the glass, and the glass breaks, and this meaning of zujaj. Uh, the the glass any breaks after yeah, any a person any beats it or a person any throws any a ball, so all these actions and the effect any of that particular action, all of it any the author any mentioned kulu dalika makhlukun illahi taala, 
all any of these are creations any of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So what he's trying to say is basically that your actions any is a creation any of Allah and the effects any of your creation, uh, your, your action. Uh, just like you beat someone or you throw any something any at the glass and the glass any breaks. So all these any series any of events are action uh, are creations any of creations any of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. La sun alil abri fi takhliqihi. So human beings any do not have any ability to initiate any any action. Human beings any does not have the ability any to initiate any 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 action. So this is any the principle any we say none any can give any effect except Allah. None any can give any any effect any in the creations any except Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah any is the only creator. There is none other creator than Allah. Nothing any can bring something from non-existence to existence except Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Nothing any can bring something from non-existence to existence except by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And human beings any do not have any ability to create any, any effect or to bring about any actions or to bring about any, any effects. لا سنع للعبري في تخليقه So human beings any do not have any ability any to bring about creation. So creation any is only to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Some people any asking for example uh, yani in the Quran there are a few verses uh, that has to be explained because uh, outwardly uh, literally any it can any uh, confuse any uh, some people any who doesn't understand any about about any this any principles any for example you have any in the Quran any Allah subhanahu wa taala mention wa ma ramaita id ramaita walakin Allah rama yani Allah subhanahu wa taala mentioned in the Quran to, to the this is any pertaining to the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam yani the Allah yani mentioned wa ma ramaita id ramaita meaning any ya Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam you do not you do not shoot when you shoot but Allah any is the one any who shoots literally any it means any like that so what is any the meaning uh, when Allah said yani ya Muhammad it is not who you any who shoot any arami any meaning shooting uh, last time it can also mean throwing so last time any in the battlefield any peop, uh, people yani use bow and arrow this is rimaya so Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned wa ma ramaita id ramaita Yani when you shoot any ya Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam it is not you any who shoot but it is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so what is any the meaning yani the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam when he shoot so Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is saying any ya Muhammad it, it, the action any of shooting it is not from your creation but it is ascribed to you as kasab that's what you mentioned it is ascribed to you as kasab but the action the creation any of the action any of shooting comes any from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So this is the meaning. Wa ma ramayta. It ramayta. So Allah is saying any that you do not create any the action any of shooting. When you are shooting any kasban, but Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the creator of the action of shooting. So this is how any we understand this particular verse. Then we have any the verse any tabarakallahu ahsanul khaliqeen. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala any when he speaks any about how uh, he created any human beings any in the wombs any of uh, the mothers in the in, in the last verse any Allah mentioned tabarakallah ahsanul khaliqin all glory any to, to be Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala ahsanul khaliqin ahsanul khaliqin any our scholars any mentioned the meaning is ahsanul muqaddirin yani Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala yani he make any things into stages and this is the meaning of takdir that Allah yani is the best of the ones any who place any things any into the proper any stages. So it doesn't mean any that there are other creator other than other than Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Only Allah any brings any something any from non existence to existence. So certain verses any like this, any it has to be explained, especially any when people are reading any the Quran or reading any translation. Uh, these are the these are some of the things any that has to be that has to be understood in this manner. So basically what is any important any for us any Muslims any to understand that other than Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala do not have any ability to uh, create any anything any from non-existence to existence. Then any the author any mentioned Wal Maktulu Mayitun bi ajalihi. 
Yani a person yani who is killed Al-Maqtul Al-Maqtul <coughs> For example We hear news yani For example uh, There are people yani, In Auzubillah bin Zalik yani, They are killed They are killed yani, in, a, in, a, in a bomb blast Or they are, <coughs> there are people yani, Who are stabbed yani, For example Maqtul They are killed So outwardly The killer yani, The killer yani, Initiate yani, this This killing and death any comes any upon any this particular this particular person. So as Muslims any the author any is saying, what al wal maktul any the person any who is killed and he passed away because of his ajal. He passed away any because any of what because any of the decree that the time any of his death any has come. And the act any of killing any is just a means. Is just any a means any for that ajal. So today any we hear for example people pass away because of diabetes. People pass away because of COVID. People pass away because of uh, car crash, or, uh, yeah, uh, being killed and so on and so forth. All these any are means, but the reality any is that the ajal any has come. What is the meaning of ajal? Yani ajal any is a decree of Allah Subhanahu wa Taala of the death any of a particular, particular person. While ajalu wahid, and the decree any is one. It is not any many. Yani meaning any sometimes any a person escape death. Does it mean any that the ajal comes but he managed any to escape any from the ajal? No. The ajal any of a person meaning the day, date of death any has already been ordained by Allah and it is one. When the time any comes, human beings any will die. When the time of the ajal comes, human beings any will die. But if a person any escape death any, what does it mean? It means any that the ajal of this person has not come yet. And for example... Uh, there are 40 pas- passengers any in a plane and the plane crash all 39 any pass away except any for one person so what any anyway, we, we say any is that the ajal any of this person has not come so that is why any he did not die the ajal of this person any has not come any the decree of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala when it comes into the death any of this person has not any taken place yet and he has not any reach that point any of time so that is why any he is still that is why any he is still any alive, and then any he mentioned wal haramu rizqun. The haram any is also considered to be rizq, and the halal any is rizq. Any at the end of the, of the day, any everything is a creation any of Allah subhanahu wa taala. Allah subhanahu wa taala any he creates any the halal, and Allah subhanahu wa taala creates any haram any as a test any for human beings. Any it is up any to human beings any to consume any from the halal or consume any from the haram. But is the haram any considered to be risk? Yes. Yani it is a creation any of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Wa, wa, wa kullun yustawfa rizku nafsihi halalan kana au haraman. And risk any of a person has been ordained any by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Whether it is uh, halal any or whether any it is, it is haram. Any, meaning any Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows whether a particular person any will consume any from the halal or he will consume any from the haram. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala yani, has ordained. And human beings, yani, they are held accountable yani, for the food yani, that they consume. If they consume any the halal, yani, they will be rewarded yani, by Allah. If they consume any the haram, yani, they will be punished yani, by, by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. وَلَا يُتَصَوَّرُ أَنْ لَا يَأْكُلَ إِنسَانٌ رِزْقَهُ أَوْ يَأْكُلَ رِزْقَ غَيْرِهِ And it cannot yani, be, be, be accepted or be imagined that human beings do not... Yani, uh, consume any from the sustenance that has been ordained any by Allah, or he consume any the sustenance any of others when Allah any has ordained any his sustenance. Any basically what any the author any is saying that when it comes into the risk of a person, the sustenance any of a person, everything any has been ordained any by Allah, and anything that is ordained any by Allah subhanahu wa taala will take place, and it is impossible that Allah ordain any something any happens. But yani, it does not, it does not yani, happen. Because everything yani, is within the knowledge yani, of Allah. And everything yani, happens by the knowledge yani, of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and by the will yani, of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Wallahu ta'ala yudillu man yasha wa yahdi man yasha. And uh, Allah yani, mentioned when it comes yani, to hidayah, Allah yani, is the one yani, who bless yani, people yani, with guidance. And Allah yani, is the one who is the... One any yani, who makes uh, who, who who created any misguidance any for for people 
and he guides any whomever any he wishes and he misguide any whomever whomever any he wishes so allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the one any who is the possessor any of the possessor any of guidance so that is why it is important any for all of us any to ask allah any for to ask allah any for guidance so when we ask any allah subhanahu wa ta'ala any for guidance now this is any the thing any that we are that we are in need of we pray that allah bless us any with taufik and hidayah and may allah bless us any goodness and in dunya and akhirah and may allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect us any from all difficulties trials and tribulations and from all any calamities and viruses and may allah bless us fi husnul khatima amin ya rabbal alamin wa sallallahu ala sayidina muhammadin wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam alhamdulillahi rabbil alamin